Thanks, big part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Oh, please save me from this story. Please. This is from the Baltimore Sun. Jennifer Hudson's Oscar win for her performance in Dreamgirls. Was it just a boon for the once spurned American Idol contestant? It was a win for what it says here are full figured women all over. That's what it says. Kelly Brown, spokeswoman for the plus sized retail chain Avenue. Says people usually think fat and ugly. Fat doesn't have to be ugly. Curviness doesn't have to be ugly. Who would look at Jennifer Hudson and say that she was unattractive? I would. Those rolls of fat, are you kidding me? Come on. Stop it. Jesus, she's fat. story goes on to say, evidently not too many people, including the hip and thin decision makers at Vogue, one of the nation's foremost go-to magazines for beauty trends. Now listen to this sentence, that these two people are in the same sentence and considered in the same category, which blows me away. Hudson appears on the March cover of the fashion magazine, Vogue, the same month that R&B star Beyonce, hips, thighs, cleavage, and all, it says here, graces the front of Sports Illustrated's annual swimsuit issue. Uh, can I have a show of hands? Does anybody think Jennifer Hudson and Beyonce have more than two things in common? One, both black. Two, both the dream girls. Uh, three, both sing. Anything else? Look at them. Look at those two. Beyonce is like the hottest chick on the planet. Jennifer Hudson's another fatty from American Idol. Come on. Stop it. The fact that she has hips and cleavage doesn't mean she's fat like Jennifer Hudson or like other fat people. Beyonce is a well-proportioned African-American woman. That's what she is. But when I say well-proportioned, I mean not fat. She's not fat. What, what, what would you suggest now? Jennifer Hudson in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue? I'll bet the guys will be lining up for that. Are you kidding me? It says here on the back cover of the February 16th issue of Life magazine that just happens to have Hudson's pouty-lipped visage on the front cover. A very round, very nude woman, 54-year-old Marinette Morrison, sits on the floor in a dove advertisement, hugging her knees. Could this be the end of the rail thin woman in advertisements and fashion shoots? Probably not. But beauty experts say the images of Hudson, Beyonce, yeah, there they are in the same sentence. We try to lump together people who actually have breasts and a nice butt with fat people. It's all one thing. The images of Hudson, Beyonce, and other curvy women and ads for companies such as Dove and SlimFast signal the changes in the air. Well, what the hell do you need SlimFast for if you're not, <laughs> if you're not fat? Of course you put fat people in the SlimFast ad. That's who's buying it. Fat people. But come on. Beyonce and Jennifer Hudson, I, I'm still blown away by this. B.J. Toe, executive editor of Figure, a fashion and lifestyle magazine for fat women. Oh, it says here plus size women. Let's tell the truth says, I believe there's a real movement nationally to celebrate plus-size women. I do think the American media is, media is a plural, starting to realize 
This is who their audience is. They're not all waif thin. Yeah, but they'd like to look like that. People don't want to see pictures of people as they really look. They want to see pictures of people that look the way they want to look. Stop it. Says here, in fact, an increasing number of the nation's women are shaped more like Hudson than they are like Lindsay Lohan, experts say. About 62% of American women are size 14 or bigger, Toe says. By the way, no other country on the planet are women as fat as they are here. Just amazing stuff. It's just amazing to me. And then there's references in this, uh, in this story to Ugly Betty. May I point out that the actress that plays Ugly Betty has to weigh 50 pounds less than Jennifer Hudson, America Ferreira. She's chunky, but not nearly as fat as Jennifer Hudson, who's really fat. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, Beyonce's in a class by herself. These girls do not belong in the same story or discussed in the same way. Well, uh, what, what they do now is they lump all people with large breasts and large hips as curvy. There was a time when a curvy person had more of an hourglass figure, big boobs, nice round butt. But a skinny waist. And now, anybody, is, <laughs> everybody's curvy, especially fat women. And we lump Beyonce in just to say, oh, look, all those. How inspirational is that they put Beyonce on the cover of Sports Illustrated magazine? Come on. Try putting Jennifer Hudson on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. How many men do you think would buy that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, yes. Just amazing stuff. So I'm wondering, I mean, uh, am I far off the mark on this stuff? I mean, this idea, you know, Jennifer Hudson, oh, we're celebrating plus size when we're celebrating them. Are you celebrating them? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800. Tom. That guy can lick my butt. Tom. That guy can lick my butt. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Now, 1 800 5 800 Tom. Oh, yeah. We're celebrating plus size women on the Tom Likas Show. <laughs> Emily, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, how are you? Great. Um, I was wondering if you liked your women more like Beyonce with like the nice curves and the thin waist or Lindsay Lohan. Oh no, I I I would take Beyonce over Lindsay Lohan in a minute. I wouldn't think twice. <laughs> I had a feeling. I just wanted to know. No, Lindsay Lohan besides her obvious problems, mm -hmm. uh, that's just not my type. Yeah. Beyonce, I mean definitely my type. Whose type isn't she? My God, is there anybody who doesn't think she's hot? <laughs> Not oh, that I've come across. Brad Abbott raised his hand. Somebody doesn't think she's hot. Oh, that's good. He's the first I've met. Yeah, she's, she's pretty... She's, she's a true woman. Like, she has a great woman's body. Well, Jennifer Hudson's a true woman. She's just very fat. Right, but I mean, if you're going to strive to look like somebody, I think it should be Beyonce rather than... And by the way, like write this Ricky. down, write this down. Jennifer Hudson okay. is going to be the Marissa Tomei of the 21st century. The woman who won the Oscar who five years from now, everyone's going to say, back in 07, who won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress? I don't know. Uh, Jennifer Hudson? <laughs> well, that's, that's who did win it, but in five years, no one's going to remember that. Yeah, that's true. Well, I don't even know who anything now. <laughs> well, uh, you know, really, uh, I tell you what, if uh, if the media think that full-figured women are so great, let Sports Illustrated put uh, Jennifer Hudson and Star Jones and as many fatties they can find in there in bikinis. <laughs> bikinis want to be smart. Let's see. Like one piece. <laughs> let's see how many copies they sell. Let's celebrate uh, plus-size women.
You know, they'd probably sell a lot of copies because people would just be interested to see what it ended up looking like. The, the, and knowing what what looked like? And interested to see and to see what they ended up looking like, like the women in the magazine and bikini. It kind of like a car accident. Uh, no. No, that's the kind of thing, if I were in the supermarket, I'd pick it up and look at it and then put it back down. That's true. Beyonce, you want to buy, and when you're done, all the pages will be stuck together. <laughs> I've never had that problem, actually. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Tom. Uh, all right, let's go now. Uh, Orlando is calling from a place that neither has a panorama nor is it a city, but it's called Panorama City. Hello. Uh, hi, Tom. <laughs> Where's the panorama located, Orlando? Have you found it yet? Uh, no, I have not, unfortunately. <laughs> and uh, the, the, who's the mayor of Panorama City? Uh, I do not know. Well, it actually. doesn't have a mayor. It's not a city. Yeah, uh, actually, I don't care. I just unfortunately work here. I uh, I'm actually from uh, Silmar, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Awful <know>. place. Scum <laughs> of the earth live here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, as for the fat chicks, uh, I don't know if you agree with me, but uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm tired of these fat chicks uh, comparing themselves to girls like Beyonce. I don't know if I'm the only one, but uh, you know, going to high school and everything, I've always noticed that uh, fat chicks te uh, seem to be a little bit bitter, just I guess because. Guys won't look, uh, you know, take a second look at them. Uh, would you agree with me on that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's no doubt about that. Fat women have the highest self-esteem of anybody. Uh, you know, when people talk to me about self-esteem, I tell guys to find chicks with low self-esteem. A lot of people assume I'm talking about ugly or fat chicks, and I'm not. I'm talking about hot chicks. Fat chicks have the highest self-esteem. Yeah, for some reason, when they should have the lowest, right? <laughs> Well, that's right. Essentially, they've given up worrying about how they look. Yeah, it's sad, really. <laughs> you know, and fat women, you know, they spend a lot of money on manicures, spend a lot of money on hair and accessories, trying to hide the fact that they're fat. Yeah, and you, you hit the nail on the head by saying that they call themselves curvy now. Why don't they just straight out go ahead and say they're fat, you know? Well, that's the thing. They want to be lumped in with Beyonce. Right, right. <laughs> and Beyonce, Really? Dude, if you saw Beyonce or Jennifer Hudson, who would you take? Beyonce in a heartbeat. Of course. And if Jennifer Hudson were on the cover of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition, would you buy it? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not even if it was free, Tom. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it was a pleasure talking to you, Tom. Uh, can you take me out uh, African tribal style? Of course I will, Orlando. Baninge, baninge. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Rich on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? What's going on, dog? I'm doing okay, Rich. Tom, I love your show, dude. And I love when you talk about these chicks. You crack me up. But anyway, the topic today is about, uh, I think I, I didn't catch the whole beginning, but I think it's about how do you like fat chicks or fat chicks versus, versus skinny chicks. And I was, I'm just representing the brothers, okay? Some people always think brothers only like the big booty, which is, it, 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 you know, to some degree it is true, but brothers mostly like the hourglass. The hourglass woman. She don't have to be fat. She don't have to be skinny. She's like right in the middle. What? And it's called proper thick. You know, like she can work out. She's got a little extra curve to her. Okay, but she's not fat. Right. All right. Like Jennifer Lopez or Beyonce. Exactly, Tom. Exactly. The exactly. Old, the old... Now, once in a while, Tom, once in a while, you do, you, like, you know, maybe you, you hit the you hit a slump and, you know, you, you're, you're going through the desert and... You know, you got to keep a, a little chubby one on the But that's side. white guys and low. white guys and black guys have that in common. Yeah. We, we've all yeah, done that. Go ahead, Tom. Go ahead. We've all done that. The black guys I know who are with consistently fat women, they don't have any money. Okay. The black guys that's I know who have good jobs, good educations, make good money, they have thinner chicks. Now, they may be more of an hourglass figure, but they are thinner and the fat chicks, and by the way, what is it with black guys who like fat white chicks? What's that all about? I don't know. I mean, what, I mean, I mean, to some degree, it is about what turns you on, what you oh, are. Oh, I know. To. 
no I'm matter just, no matter what your bank account says. Sometimes yeah. it does come down. Well, there, to there you. are people right. with fetishes. That's true. Yeah, but so they're like, they're the exceptions like to the rule. Girl. Yeah, but my God, if you could choose Beyonce or Star Jones, who would you choose? Come on, man! It's gonna be Beyonce. It's gonna be Jennifer Lopez. Of course. Got some sense, but there are a few numbers out there. There are a few there guys are. out there that would choose Star Jones. They would. Uh, the, there there are. Preference. There are also yeah. guys who would choose to have sex with men. There are some of them out there. Yeah. They need a head exam. <laughs> yeah, Tom. But um, I just wanted to call in, man. Hey, but I need to call you back one day when you're talking about anything to do with the legal system. I know we got to talk about the girls right now, but I'm gonna I'll keep listening because I got something. I got some heavy stuff to lay on you one day. All right, I'll be waiting for it. Thanks a lot. Appreciate the call, Rich. It's Danny on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Great. I was just calling because I completely agree. Like, never, ever agree with you until today. How come all the fat girls got to advertise when they do something good? <laughs> <laughs> she wins an Oscar and she's fat. Congratulations. Millions of skinny girls win them. Do you think they advertise every five seconds? It's not that big of a deal. Um, that's true. That's absolutely true. Every fat girl that does something good, they just got to brag about it for months. You know you're going to be hearing about this in six months. That's what she's going to be known for forever. She never won American Idol. <laughs> she didn't win American Idol, and I'm telling you, I don't know if you remember, Marissa Tomei won an Oscar. Do you I have no idea who she is. That's my I'll point. Fat chick. <laughs> People don't even remember who she is anymore. No, she wasn't a fat chick. She was just the chick who won the Oscar once, and if you ever saw her in a movie, I'm going, this was the best actress I've not ever seen Dream Girls. Don't plan on seeing it. Probably never rented. Don't really care. But I'm just sick of hearing, oh, my God, a fat girl won something. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, and now because we're celebrating plus-size models now. We're celebrating plus-size women. Whatever happened to being fat being a bad thing? Like, walking around the mall, you go into plus-size stores, they have cuter clothes for fat girls than they do for skinny girls now. It's ridiculous. It is. Like, isn't that the point of trying to get skinny is because you don't have cute clothes? But now they just make cute clothes, so just keep being fat. <laughs> there we go. Well, thank you for that. Appreciate the call. Lindsay, on the Tom Likas show, hello. You know what? I don't care if you're fat. You know, eat as much chunky monkey ice cream as you want. But, you know, don't wear the skinny-ass clothes and try and advertise your old, because I don't want to see it. Your stretch marks are not that appealing. No, they're not. I have, you know, I am chubby. I'm fluffy. I don't care what you call it, but I know I am a little bit fat. Not even a little bit, you know. Sometimes when I walk, the ground shakes, and I know that. But I wear a sweater. I cover it up. I am courteous to people around me. I don't want to see you going, is my haircut taken away from my fatness? No, it is not. By the way, here's a question I've been asking. Maybe you know the answer. Uh, do fat chicks think we don't know what's going on when they tie the sweater around their big fat ass? <laughs> no. Like, do they, they think, think that they're hiding it? But that, I mean, I think they really believe like that. We that we believe they need a place to store their sweater. Yeah. I mean, you ever notice that thin chicks rarely store their sweater tied around their ass? They want you to see their ass. Which is not very appealing. It's not at all. It's not, it's disgusting. Right. Like, there are people in my school that are just bouncing up and down and the rolls are shaking and it's it it makes me want to vomit it's like cover up cover up for god's yeah. sake cover up yeah and then it was so great with jennifer hudson you know oh it's so great that you know i'm being recognized you're fat that's why i'm being recognized <laughs> like honestly that's basically the only reason she won oh uh, I don't... they want to they want to congratulate the fat people for eating so much well then they had queen fatifa out there the other night at the oscars <laughs> You see all people wearing their clothes. That, uh. <laughs> Thank you, Lindsay. Okay, bye. Appreciate the call. <laughs> Renee, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, how you doing? Great. All right, my comment is, I'm 6'1", 230 pounds. Before I had kids, I was 160 pounds and looked sick. I get more attention now that I have a little bit more weight on me. And I, I enjoy it. You enjoy it? <laughs> My thing is, is that these people that have a complex about being fat and all the other stuff, just be comfortable with yourself no matter what it is. Well, maybe you just need to put on another 50 pounds. You get even more attention. 
Mm-hmm, like I did. <laughs> I'm glad I had my two children. They did wonders for me. <laughs> <laughs> so well, that's my comment. I love your show. Thank you, Renee. That's that. That's thank all you. I got to say. Thank you. Did you say that's that or that's fat? I don't know. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. This is Frank on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. How's it going? Great. All right. Well, I wanted to give you an answer to that question you asked that other guy earlier. Yeah. Uh, you said uh, why? Why do black guys like uh, fat white chicks? The ones who do, yeah. Yeah, the ones who do. Well, you can compare a fat white girl to. Uh, a rich woman from another country, they serve you, they treat you right, and they'll go to the end of the earth for you. So you kind of tend to put up with the big, fat, sloppy, and then you get your uh, your fix on the side, you know what I mean? <laughs> your fix on the side, and what is that? <laughs> a thin one. A thin, a thin one. Mint. Whatever you can get mint. Whatever you can get your hands on one. Yeah, whatever you can scrounge up something. That's right. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I, w- I wanted to... Uh, you know, let you know, um, a while ago, I was telling you that I had a, trying to become a pilot, a helicopter pilot, and you right. were just saying, go and do it. Yeah. You know, and you were telling me to get out of my situation. Well, I, I have to, uh, I'm almost there. You know, I just, just dropped everything and went and just, I'm just doing it now, you know. Good had for you. Solo, had my first solo the other day. Good for you. Yeah. Thanks to you, Tom. I am proud of you, Frank. Thank you. Hey, uh, take me out, uh. Compton style. Compton style. Here you go. Biatch. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. What's your plan? My plan? Well, never to marry a whore. The Tom Likas Show. Tom like his show at one 800 800 tom Thank you for tuning in. David on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Father? Great, son. Hey, my ex-wife is a size 18, and that's why she's my ex-wife. Really? Yes. Love and that. So did you warn her? Did you tell her, uh, hey, better do something about this? I tried. I even, you know, she'd say, hey, you know, get me an aerobicizer. Well, all the workout tools just became more places to hang her clothes. So I divorced her, and every time we go into the DA's office, which is about once every four months for more uh, patrimony, she, uh, I beat her to the punch, and I get the chair without the arms, and I watch her have to squirm her backside down in there, and I, it's a, it's a joke. <laughs> Good thing you don't have to pay her by the pound. Oh, I'd be broke. But, you know, my, my new wife is 43, and she's a size 3.5, and she works out about four times a week. Love it. And she makes more money than I do. <laughs> you are the man. <laughs> no, just very lucky. <laughs> All right, Father, take me out, uh, JFK, please. Senior or junior? Uh, senior. Senior. Here you go. Melody on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, how are you? Great. Well, um, I was just listening to your show on my way home. And right. I'm a personal fitness trainer, and I was scanning the stations. Your uh, debate, fat versus skinny girls, caught my attention. Well, we're really not doing a debate, fat versus skinny girls. We're talking about a story that appeared in the Baltimore Sun newspaper okay. about Jennifer Hudson. Right. Lump, and lumping lumping her in with women like Beyonce as if they're all quote-unquote, all curvy. Right. Well, But, but they're not. not. Beyonce is curvy, and Jennifer Hudson is fat. Well, she has curves, if you want to look at it that well, way. So does, a, well, so does a basketball. It's one continuous curve. Right, right. Well, I mean, here's what I want to say in Jennifer Hudson's defense. I mean, I'm not fat, so I'm not crying out for the fat team because I'm fat sitting at home. But the fact of the matter is, it's a tough town to make it in, and everything's based on looks. And I think it is a big deal that Jennifer Hudson, at her weight, at her size, and maybe not the hottest chick in town, you know, I think it is a big deal that she won such an esteemed role, you know what I mean? But she's playing a character that looks like Jennifer Hudson. Uh, how many roles are there going to be for women who look like that? Well, I mean, maybe there'll be more in the future, hopefully. Marilyn Doubt it. Marilyn Monroe was big. Doubt it. 
Yeah, I hope so. I hope they prove you all wrong. I hope that the fat, quote-unquote, fat girls, I hope they take over, you know? Uh, take so, over? You hope they take over? I hope they do. And They're never going to take fine. over as long as, as women's worth is determined by how much uh, men want them. Yeah, well, we, well that's, that's the problem there. And men don't want women to look like Jennifer Hudson. Well, a lot of men do, and I heard what you said, a lot of men like men. Yeah, they like, they, they, a lot of men do when the lights are off and nobody can see them. Right. Well, a lot of women put up with fat men, but they love them, and they have personalities, and there's all... Men and women are different. Like women are, are different. Yeah, Men and women are different. Uh, men are judged by how much money we make. Women are judged by how attractive they are. Right. Well, I was just listening to your last caller who called and said he divorced his wife because she was big. Right. And he didn't sound like a real catch himself, so I don't know what he's thinking, you know. Well, oh, I divorced my wife because she was... Are you like a girl? You don't have to make things like that up. You don't know anything about this guy's, uh, what, what this guy has or doesn't have. Right. Well, what about this woman? Maybe she was trying her hardest, you know. So what? So what? He divorced her because she... Who cares? Bad. I mean, what kind of... Who thing cares? I, women say this stuff all the time. You know, when a woman's uh, 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 sports team loses, like in the Olympics, something, oh, but they tried. Nobody cares. I mean, what kind of... What have you what done for us lately? Are, I mean, you guys, you're sitting there as a role model for men, making other men feel like it's okay to objectify women. Oh, but please, of, co of course it is. By the way, we're objectified, too, for our wallets. Well, I'm not exactly. Mean, oh, yes, so oh, yes, oh, yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. That guy, come on. How many guys are there that make uh, less money than their wives? That's a, that's a rarity. I mean, who the heck cares about how much money you make it is on the grand scheme women. of things? This is women. Women. Women care about how much money you make. I care about how much money I make. How about yeah. that? Well, guess what? Women also care about how much money the men they date make, especially if they're going to marry them. As long as they can support themselves. Uh-huh. So would you marry the guy who hands out Quiznos coupons at the mall? What was that? Would you marry the guy who hands out Quiznos coupons at the mall to make a living? You know, probably not, unless he's really well in bed. That's, I see, that's my point. You know, I mean, you want to be with a guy who has a, you want to be with a guy with a good career. I want to be with a guy who has drive and passion. Well, that's my, well, you call it what you want. The bottom line is it shows up in what kind of a, what kind of money they make, what kind of profession they're in. Right. And so, and women, and that's what, that's how that. men, that is how men are objectified. Okay. And so you're saying bottom line, women are sized up value wise as how big or little they are? Yes. Or how attractive they are. And, and men do not find fat women attractive except for the occasional fetishists. I mean, fat women are for poor guys. Okay. So my next question to you is what makes you the say and all of who's fat and who's skinny? I mean, what makes you decide what's fat? And what's oh, fat? Uh, the men will decide. I, as I said, if you want to find out what, what men think, you put Jennifer Hudson on the cover of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition and see how many copies that sells. I, I don't know. Maybe it would sell. You no, it that, wouldn't. You? Trust me. I, I'm a man, and I know lots of men. They wouldn't buy Jennifer Hudson on the cover of a magazine. Not on the cover of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Absolutely not. What's wrong with a little bit of size? Uh, it, it's it's fat. It's, not, it's fat, dear. And men don't like fat girls. Right. So what about skinny girls who have fat on them? I mean, is that not okay? What's it, what does that mean, skinny girls that have fat on them? There is skinny fat. You don't think there's What does that mean? Skinny girls can have fatty, fatty limbs, too. I mean, that's such a stupid way of looking at it. Well, that's, uh, again, uh, you know, I, I don't believe in trying to recreate the world as I want it to be. I deal with the world as it is. And the way the world is, is men don't like fat chicks. You like fat chicks? No. You don't. And what no. kind of girl do you like? What's okay by your standard? Beyonce. Beyonce is okay. Yes, she's more than okay. Well, there's men who think Beyonce's fat. What do you have to say about that? Well, that's their taste. They're entitled to it. But believe me, most men think Beyonce's hot, and that's why Beyonce's on the cover of the Swimston edition of Sports Illustrated and not Jennifer Hudson. Right. Well, I hope Jennifer Hudson does get on that cover. Never going to happen. Just piss a lot of guys Never off. Never going to. Well, they don't want to piss guys off. They want to sell magazines. Well, I hope, I hope something happens where, you know, men are forced to deal with other things than body image on women. Well, you guess know, what? Around know, the world, the, uh, like America that. has the fattest women in the world. Right. And um, so if you want to see uh, hot chicks, just go to another country. Right. Okay. Well, maybe all the men should just move to the country where all the... Oh, no, no, guys. no. Because, you see, many of these women come to America. I gave up dating American women a long time ago. I date women from other countries. They're hot. They're thin. 
they don't understand why American women become such big fat slobs. Right. And I, I totally love it. Okay. Well, good. I guess there's just a no proving the point here. I guess fat is just not ever going to work for men. Is that what you're trying to tell Correct. me? Correct. Fat is for men who can't afford thin. Men who can't afford thin? Yes. Oh, my God. That's correct. This is so disgusting. It's, a, it's a fact. I can't believe this crap. But it's a fact. Who can't afford thin? That's well, right. You know, that's a pretty whorish way fat of... Fat women are for poor guys. That's the bottom line. Fat women are for... Wow. All yes. right. That's enough. I think I've heard enough. Okay. Really? Thank you. Well, you, you keep listening. There's plenty more where that came from. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-866. You got a rotten attitude. Who's telling you what to say, your wife? No, I think nobody told me anything. I hear her in the background, you pussy. I hear her there. Tell her to shut up. Hey, 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 that's my wife. I don't care. The Tom, Tom Likas Show. Like show. The Tom Likas Show. The 1-800-5800-TOM. Keisha. On the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yes. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yeah. I, I was just browsing through the radio station and came across your talk show. Mm hmm. What's really the problem with big girls? Most guys aren't attracted to them. Okay, but there are a lot of guys that are attracted right. to them. Right. Most of them in the lower income and lower educational levels. Well, you know, the guys that I have been with, long money. They... Education and everything. Really? Yes. Well, uh, funny, uh, they certainly aren't seen in public with you. Seen with public, everything. We go to the money. Because I never see rich, successful guys in public with big, fat girls. Never. Why not? Why not? It doesn't matter if why, why not. I just don't. Why do we have to be big, fat girls? Why we just can't be big bones? Why we gotta because be you're big not big girls. bone. Your bones are normal size. It's the fat. It's not the fat. Of course it is. You know, and me, I don't have a problem with myself, and the guys that I date don't have a problem with me. Well, why is it women in other countries don't have such big bones? I don't know. Maybe because they don't eat. Because it has nothing to do with bones. Yeah, well, that's because exactly right. Eat. But your bones but don't, don't, by the way, the when you eat, wait, 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 stop right there. Stop right there. I'm not going to yell over you. Your bones do not get bigger when you eat. Do you understand? So that, that was a problem because she won and not because she's a big girl? So if it was a skinny girl, it would have been okay. No, no, that's not what we said. The best actress, or the best supporting actress in her case, uh, should be the person who did the best job acting. No, what I'm saying is that there are people who are trying to say that Jennifer Hudson winning an Oscar somehow means we are celebrating fat women, which we well, are I'm not. We're celebrating fat women, and then it's got the whole talk about fat women. The girl saying, well, I don't want to see her role shape. Well, don't look. Don't look. You know, I understand there's certain things that big women can wear, certain things that we cannot wear. At the same time, I love me and I love who I am, and I'm comfortable. With well, of who course, I am as I always said, I'm fat girls have the highest self-esteem, and you're proving what I said. I I believe that's true. I don't have a problem with my weight, and I'm not. I know you don't. Otherwise, you'd take the fork out of your mouth. Thirty to fifty pounds just to please some man, please. Well, there you go, and that's that's why, and that is why men don't want to be with women like you because you couldn't care less about pleasing a man, and and why would a man want to be with somebody who doesn't want to please him? Because you got money, I make my own money. Great, you have to because no man would pay your bills. My man paying my bills now. Really? How about that? Really? How about that? We paid every month. He didn't even pay every month. Really? He pays all your bills? Well, I guess every he's a chubby month. chaser. Every month. He's... Every month. I, I don't have a problem with that. And he's getting it because somewhere on the side, too. For who I am. He's getting it on the side, too. Why not? Why can't I have my cake and eat it? I said too? he's I'm getting, fat girl. Why he's getting it on the side. Did you hear what I said? I'm a fat girl. Why can't I have my cake so and you're eat it? So you're, not, you're ignoring what I'm saying, or you're pretending you don't hear it, or you actually don't hear it? Well, because I don't just see I'm, I'm very upset right now. I never listened to your show before. You know, I just browsed across it. And, you know, when I do get it, it's like fat girls this and fat girls that. Right. You know, but why? Okay, we're not going so, okay, but you need to eat some cornbread. You know, you need some chicken in your stomach. Right. right. Oh, I'm sure you've got a lot of it. 
you know, that is, that's retarded. And it just doesn't make any sense. You skipped the collard you know, greens, went right so to the waffles. Huh? I should be I should be at home on a diet trying to get down to a size three. You oh, see them dare, my you, cage and I be them dare, your now. left your left thigh is not a size three. Oh, please, I can tell. All right, dare, it's been just a little slice, David, or in your case, a big slice. The Tom Likas Show.